Right. So we are going to be talking about moon phases. And so as you can see here on the calendar, check out the 8th the 9th and 10th. What you're noticing is the moon is going through a phase. It goes through a phase slowly. You know, it goes from 0% seen from Earth all the way to fully seen from Earth. It takes about 14 days to do so. So the whole idea here is that, you know, if you're looking at, if you can get in a spaceship and get away from Earth and you can look at the moon from a distance and you can see the sun and the Earth and the moon, you will see that 50% of the moon is always lit at all times as it revolves around the Earth. That revolution is about 28 days, 28, 29.5. For our math purposes, I like to use 28 because it divides by 7 a whole lot easier, and you'll understand later as we kind of move along. So just know that it takes about a month for the moon to revolve around the Earth. Anyway, so this is a great picture here certainly don't don't forget about this you can always come back to this and look at it it's not it's uh, it, the important thing here is is that it's a gradual change as it goes through the weeks from a new moon through its waning phases to half full to full moon back to half full again and then back to new moon Okay, so let's uh, move along here. Next. Again, I already talked about that. It takes 29 days, 29.5 typically, but we like to use 28 because it makes it a lot easier to count. I've got some strategies that will help. The word uh, moon comes from an old English, um, well, month comes from the old English English word moon. So that's where month comes from. Used to be called moonth back in the day. Anyway, so let's, the first phase that kicks off the whole party is the new moon. This new moon is located in between the sun and the earth. The lit side of the moon is, on, is the side we can't see because literally the sun, um, the, the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So when we're looking up at the moon, we typically can't see it, you know, depending on the conditions in the sky. Sometimes you can see the, uh, the, the dark new moon in the sky, but um, you can't see it. Uh, for, it's, not, it's not visible from Earth because the lit side is on the other side. For the next seven days, it goes through a waxing stage. It goes from goes from excuse me goes from waxing crescent to first quarter takes about seven days to go there um, and waxing simply uh, means it's getting brighter and the lights on the right as you can see right here the light is on the right of this circle which would be the moon okay and crescent means less than half full so as it's getting brighter, those seven days that it takes to become a first quarter, we call that a waxing crescent. It's a transitional phase, this waxing crescent. And then the next main phase after new moon is the first quarter, light on the right. It took seven days to get there. And then for the next seven days, it continues its wax but this time it's more than half full. So we call that gibbous, more than half full. That's what gibbous means, okay? And it does, goes through that for seven days until it becomes a new moon, fully bright in the sky. The dark side of the moon is on the other side. We can't see it. The alignment is earth, sorry, sun, earth, moon now if you're going from left to right happens halfway during the cycle takes about 14 days 
14 and a half days or so to go from new moon to full. But for math purposes, we like to use 14 days. So seven to, um, to for the first quarter, 14 for the full moon. Now it becomes, now the moon is going from full back to new again. But this time we call that waning because the light is now going away. And as you can see, the next seven days from a new moon to, sorry, from a full moon to a last quarter, it is a waning gibbous. Now the light is on the left-hand side, the left. So seven days, it goes through that phase, about, about six days or so. And then it becomes a last quarter, light on the left as opposed to a first quarter well, where it was flip-flopped. The dark side was on the left and the light was on the right. But these waning moons, all the light is on the left. That means it's going away. The light is waning. So 21 days into the cycle, we are on a last quarter. And then for the next six, seven days, it is going away. The light is waning more this time, less than half full. We call that a crescent, but instead of the light being on the right, which would make it a waxing crescent, now the light is on the left and it's a waning crescent, okay? So about 28 days to go through the full cycle. Again, here we go, the start of it, seven, about here, 14, about here, 21, about here, and then 28 back to here again. Okay, 7, 14, 21, 28, kind of like a football score. But it goes all the way back to the new moon, and then it kicks off the whole um, cycle again. What I want to do is now I'm going to pull up a boom. So I want to kind of show this to you so you can see it. I'll do a little bit of drawing, I think. I've got some cats and dogs there, as you can see on the right-hand side. But let's see what we can do here. Um, we're going to set the color to bl uh, black. Yep, we're good. And my tool is going to be, I don't know, pencil tool? Let's try it. Let's see how this works. So let's draw our phases. We're These are the four main phases. This is the new moon. We're going to darken it up like this okay we're going to call this a new moon boom new whoa well that's not working too well. i don't like that anyway so that's our new moon and then we will do um we will do our first quarter here kind of like so sorry about my drawing i'm going to leave that full and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to do like so there we go Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my plane. I hope this works well. Yeah, man, there we go. I'm going to draw my transitional stages or phases, sorry. And then we'll fill, fill it all in and get it all looking good. So what I meant to do earlier was let's erase that. Go back to my pencil plane. So this is the new this is the full. This is the first quarter. And this is the, um, you, it has two names, last quarter or third quarter. Whatever floats your boat, it means the same thing. I'm going to pull out my sketch again and then here we go. So what side is the light on when you are waxing? The right. So waxing means less, less than half full. So I'm just gonna kinda draw this a little bit. Ooh, kinda like so. Draw it in. Give it a little, there we go, that's precious. And now let's do this side. Boom. So those are my three waxing phases. Waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous. Now let's do light on the left, gibbous. So it's mostly full. So we'll just do a little dark here. 
Nope, totally jacked that up. Let's erase it. I love making mistakes. It's all good. I'm okay with mistakes, just as long as you catch it and fix it. So let's go back again. Now it's this side. Sorry. There we go. Much better. And then our crescent, like so. Let's pull out our pencil. So we're going to start writing and make sure we have it all right. So this is um, these stages here. Waxing. Light on the right. So we're going to put a little R here. Right. Right. And then light on the left here. Left here. Left here. This is my crescent. This is my gibbous. This is my gibbous. And this is my crescent. And these stages are waning. And everything in space moves counterclockwise. So this is the direction that they go. It's very important that you remember this direction. And that, my friends, is how you create your visual drawing, representation, whatever you want to call it, for the moon phases. Now, again, I'm going to wrap this up. All your information you need is right here in, uh, in what we're talking about. But a couple things really quickly. Remember, new moon starts the party. Here, seven days. So seven days to first, seven days to full, seven days for third quarter, seven more days back to new again. Okay, so check this saying out. Skip a phase for seven days. Ooh, you like that? Skip a phase for seven days. Skip a phase for seven days. Skip a phase for seven days. So as I'm skipping this phase, I know that we skip one phase, we move moved seven days. So it makes it really easy when you're trying to do math. If they say um, it's today, you're looking up in the sky and the moon is half full, light on the right, what will it be in 14 days? Seven, 14, it will be a last quarter. You like that? Once you have this model, if you can draw this out, you can answer a lot of questions. Let's say um, it's a waxing gibbous. What was it 10 days ago? Okay, seven here. It's not quite 14, so bang, there's your 10 days ago. So if you're going, if they're asking what was it in the past, you go clockwise, or what will it be in the future? You go counterclockwise. So today is a new moon, and it's, um, you know, February 14th, what will it be on the 28th? Well, I know that that's 14 days away. Nope, 10 days away. So there's seven in 14 days or 10 days, it will be a waxing gibbous. There you go, friends, moon phases. Boom, talk to you soon.